Hello YouTube, uh, I've been uh, doing some as I build videos of my uh, greenhouse heating system. Um, as we all know that can get expensive so I've been looking for ways to uh, to cut the heating bill and uh, I've done a lot of videos on this uh, particular build but I just wanted to do one overview so you didn't have to watch all the BS that I put up there uh, to get the same result. So what I've done is I built a uh, barrel stove out of an old 45 gallon drum just uh, with a bunch of crap I had laying around. Uh, nothing real special, just your standard barrel uh, burner. Uh, everything's virtually homemade. You can see I don't have much of a cooker going in there. It doesn't need a heck of a lot. I'm going to give you a shot of the air exchanger up in there if you can see it with the smoke and you'll see some copper tubing. Um, the uh, the bigger tubes that run lengthwise the barrel are actually an air exchanger which uh, this is a manifold for. This is the cold air and the pipes just run through the barrel and out the back and they're vented back into the greenhouse and this cold air return of course comes from the greenhouse as well um, I found with the air to air exchange the temperature will fluctuate a lot um, you can see in here like I just threw some coal in there my coal is wet this year so it's not real fun to work with but uh, I have to do it delicately because I lose a lot of heat in the, in the in the greenhouse real quick so while we're down here I'll just show you this here this is just my draft um, going into the barrel I uh, generally it doesn't take a lot this is all inch and a half into a two inch uh, reducer there reducing bushing um, legs wheels everything are just crap I had laying around um, this cold air return actually serves uh, a good purpose you'll notice when I open the door because I have my draft set so tight You'll see my draft there is kind of choked off pretty good. Um, when I open this, the smoke used to come up here and it would suck it into the cold air return. Um, so it serves more of a purpose. So even if you don't do the cold air return right back to the greenhouse, just keep that in mind. Um, what else can I tell you here? These copper coils I have, they're just uh, quarter inch copper. I have one there and one up here in the uh, in the flue area. So uh, basically, a uh, cold water line comes from the greenhouse into the first wound copper, back out into the second wound copper, and then back through this insulated pipe into the greenhouse. So I'll take you into the greenhouse and uh, just food for thought here. Uh, this is this greenhouse was actually built off a YouTube video so and uh, if you do happen to fall victim of it it is well worth it's a, it's a very very simple cheap design and we have done nothing but enjoy it you'll uh, who I'm getting sidetracked here you'll notice this crank here I actually put a roll-up tarp on here for in the uh, cool springtime uh, instead of having two people come out here and cover it I uh, I'm going to tarp off this side here with a fixed tarp, uh, that being south. So uh, just, uh, I can crank her up and roll her down by myself now. Uh, kind of my own idea there, or as far as I know anyway, and it seems to be working real good. So in the greenhouse here, um, we'll start down here with a cold air return. I I blew my uh, regular blower motor, so I just took an old fan, and I actually ended up putting on a uh, a squirrel cage blower that blows the air out through the cold air return. And I actually did a video on this thing here. It it was just kind of a makeshift thing, a fun little project, but um, just one of them uh, days where I didn't want to go into town for parts. So this is kind of I just made do with what I had so I'll, I'll be replacing that at some point so anyway uh, cold air out through the stove comes back through this pipe here you see it right there and it is not enough air it's not blowing enough 
but it is hot. Uh, you get right down in there. Well, that's about the coolest it's been all day. It's sitting just shy of 70 degrees there. Usually it's running about 90. I've had it up to 105. So anyway, uh, with our with our water system, which uh, the reason I put it in is not only I don't have enough airflow. Um, I find the temperature of the greenhouse uh, fluctuates quite a bit, so I thought, why not get more heat out of that barrel? So what we did is we brought in the hot water line, or sorry, we'll start here. Uh, in this pail is a pond pump, nothing special, and it just forces the water out through the two coils and uh, back into the greenhouse. It comes in through this line here, which is... Uh, yeah, she's cooling down now too. Um, I just stirred up the fire a bit there, so but uh, it's still blowing nice warm air here. So I just run it through an old radiator, and uh, from the radiator behind there is an old window fan that I built a shroud out of cardboard with, and uh, the switch is right up on top here, so it's actually not too bad to turn on and off. And that's kind of my uh, secondary heat source, and uh, it it seems to do pretty good. It's coming in at 80 degrees uh, on the temperature gun. It won't be that now. I can feel it's cooler. Now it's at 50 degrees, and then we're getting about a and there it's going out at 27. And from here, it uh, it works its way through the core. And then it actually comes out here, and you can just see there's just a little bit of a trickle there, and that's really all there is to it. Uh, pond pump down in there. Um, problem with water, of course, is it's going to freeze up if I uh, if I let the uh, coal burn down. But uh, we're not at greenhouse season at this point. Uh, this is all in preparation for greenhouse season. I had been heating electrically, and. Uh, it does uh, it does add up after a while, and the temperature in the greenhouse, even with electric heat, is not impressive. Uh, there was a few nights there. Actually, I lost last year. I lost my first batch of plants. It did dip down to minus uh, two in here, and uh, anything that wasn't real sturdy or in the wrong place, um, we lost her. So, uh, no big deal. I mean, just replant and get on with life. But uh, this is the system I came up for. Or came up with this year here and uh, I'm hoping it's it's gonna help uh, today's temperature outside has got to be uh, I'm gonna say about minus 11 not much of a wind which makes a big difference in here because uh, even in the winter time it's in the plus out here um, I was sitting around the 24 degrees but since I stirred up that fire I've actually dropped down to 18 so um, and then down here in the lower part of the greenhouse I'm sitting at about six degrees Celsius and then on the far end away from the heat I'm sitting at 19 if you look at the red one there so I'm um, hoping that uh, you know with a normal spring where we don't get any freak uh, major snowstorms or uh, cold uh, weather uh, we should be able to maintain the heat in here with this and the barrel heater I should be able to keep going for about six to eight hours um, originally the plan was that first coil up in the flue was to heat a 45 gallon drum of water and then just let it uh, once the coal burnt out the warm barrel would keep the uh, greenhouse warm uh, just working as a heat sink and uh, that still may be in the works but right now I have one coil feeding the other coil and I'm getting really nice temperatures uh, uh, into the greenhouse. So I'm quite happy with that. I might just leave it and maybe put in a third coil for, uh, for the barrel if I decide to do that. Um, but anyway, yeah, I just wanted to do an overview here so you didn't have to watch all my other videos. I did put videos of the build and uh, some, some problems I've had. and. Uh, and uh, the way I rectified things, of course, everyone's different. So I uh, hope you've enjoyed it. And uh, hopefully you have uh, good luck with your project as well. And I'd like to thank you for viewing. Thanks.